Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today we are going to learn how to make colored shapes here in Google Docs. Let's start from scratch. So you have your blank page here. You hit insert and you go down to drawing and select new. Once you select new, you're here on the canvas where you can insert shapes from here and take a look at all these shape categories. You have all these different types and groups of shapes. Let's go back up to the main group where I can choose conventional shapes like a circle. You just draw the shape and there it is with this generic color. You can just choose a solid color of your pleasing you can also choose a border color, but make the border thickness greater so you can see the border clearly. Okay, you can move the shape around like this. Just select it once with your finger if you're using an iPad, or if you're using a mouse, just click on it once. And then you can move it around. Once it's here, you need to change that bottom button there from right down here. You want to change it to in front of text or behind text, the last two choices there. Once you do that, you're free to move the picture around on your page wherever you please. This is the gist of the lesson. This is the crux of it all. But now, let's get more advanced. Let's write a little something on the page, create spaces and paragraphs. Let's see how it affects my shape. In this case, it does not because I can still move it around. And I can even go back inside and edit the shape. You can choose different colors for the border. And once I hit save, it brings me back out onto my page. So now that I'm on my page and I have this shape that I've inserted and I can move it around and resize it and re-edit the shape, I can go back in, change colors, come back out. Now I want to use this principle repetitiously. I want to create yet another new shape by going to insert, going down to drawing, and then choose new. Now I'm in a separate new canvas. I'm going to create another shape with another color. A triangle. I'll just select the shape fill tool and choose this pretty green. I can also go to gradient and choose a gradient green which looks like it's glowing or has shadows. You can even customize the gradients, combinations of colors and shadows and other selection choices. I think I'll go to solid and choose a solid green so that my shape matches with my other shapes. I want to give it a bright green border. So what I need to do now is click on the shape, just click it one time, move it, and then up here, Click on it once and go up here to border and choose the color I want. It's really thin, so I just go right next door and click border thickness and choose 12 points so that the border is visible. You can rotate the shape, of course. That little ball on the top, if you just grab it, you can rotate it. Okay, my shape is here again. It's stuck. It's hard to move until I press the button behind text or in front of text. And once I do that, I'm able to move my shapes around freely. As I move my shapes around, you notice it does not interfere with the other shapes or text on the page. There's no text right now, but if there was text on the page, these shapes would have no effect on that. I just move each shape around just a little bit, and now I go to insert drawing new yet again where i can now choose yet another shape to insert separately from the other two shapes i'll choose a solid color for the shape hmm i think i'll change it to a darker red and for the border i'll choose this bright red and make it thicker hmm there's not enough of a contrast between this red and the other red so let's see if i can't customize my red and choose a brighter color so that it contrasts better with my inner shape. 
Okay. Bright red, dark red. Very good. And here's my third shape. Now I'll just select behind text so I can move it around freely. And now each of my shapes move around independently. And I can even edit specific details for any of these shapes by pressing that edit button. So you just click on the shape first and then press that edit button. And these shapes overlap as well. So you can go ahead and change overlap selection settings as well, such as which shape is on top of which other shape. You can even set an order if you're really meticulous about it. So now that I have these three shapes here, let me go ahead and write a sentence on the top of my page because that is a good way to wrap up an assignment. This is a video on how to create shapes, colored, colored shapes. Folks, if you found this video useful and helpful and entertaining and amazing to all your senses and all your needs, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you would like to support the channel and show the channel that you want the channel to make lots more videos. Also, please feel free to hit that share button and share this video with friends and family whom you think might find it useful and entertaining. Thank you for doing so. And lastly, of course, but not least, please do feel free to leave a comment below. As always, your support is appreciated. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.